So, three, two, one. Oh my god, you can see it says restart to repair drive errors. Oh my god, did I lost all of my files? Oh no. Oh my god, is Windows that easy to crash? Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. And in Windows 10, there is a new bug that can corrupt your files with just single line command. <laughs> that is mind blowing. And the worst part about all of this, it works in the latest Windows update. They haven't even fixed it yet. So today in this video, we will see how this bug occurs and how you can protect yourself. Well, kind of, you know. So just before we start, a word of a warning, do not ever try this at your own PC because it can damage the files and things like that. You can test this on your virtual machine where data is not sacrificed and things like that. So yeah. So here you can see I opened up command prompt in my system and here you just need to do one thing. But before we actually introduce bug in our system, let me show you that my system is working. So here you can see I'm putting this command. So here this command will check whether my directory is clean or dirty. So here you can see my C directory is uh, not dirty. That means C directory is completely fine. Now we will introduce bug in our system by this command. So here you can see. So here we go. Three, two one and pressing enter <laughs> boom there you go you can see file or directory is corrupted and unreadable so here you can see a lot of things happened at once so let me show you carefully you can see command prompt says the file or directory is corrupted and unreadable and onto this corner it says restart to repair drive errors so boom you can see our drive is corrupted right now now if you open up notifications you can see that error over here so restart to repair the drive errors so the only thing you can do right now is just restart your computer or later but no matter what you do after restart the windows will try to fix itself so yeah that's the only thing you left with and let's see if our c drive is still accessible or not so here you can see C drive is still kind of accessible. So now before we actually do restart, let me show you whether our C directory is dirty or not. So let's put the command right over here. And our C directory is now dirty. Wow. That means there is some kind of a problem going on. Oh no. Anyways, let's restart my computer and see if this fixes. Honestly guys, don't ever do this at your own PC. You can see my drive is being fixed right now. And believe me guys, it took really really long time. So please do not ever try this. You can see now it's 100% complete. Let's see if my PC is booting up or not. So anyways, my PC booted up and here you can see it working. Now let's try this onto my Windows 7 system. So here you can see I quickly inserted the command. My drive is not dirty. Now let's put the actual command that ruins the PC. So here we go. This is the command and you can see it says the directory name is invalid. It does not work on Windows 7. But who uses Windows 7? Well, it works on Windows 10. That's a big deal. So here you can see I created a shortcut and the file path is obviously this one and if you click on next you can see it says bitmap cannot be found oh my god and on the bottom corner you can see restart to repair the drive so here is the shortcut i created and i will give the location of its icon as this bitmap file that the bug we have just found and you can see after doing that even if i go into that folder when I try to see this icon right over here, it will not load up since this bitmap file is kind of invalid, you know, and this will create the bug even if you don't click on the file. 
This happens because Windows loads up the icons automatically without user's permission. So yeah, when you put the bitmap file location as this command right over here, well, pretty much crash your drive at that point. So here is the aftermath. Do not click on any files that are untrusted and you don't know anything about it. Even do not locate those files cause I already showed you that without even accessing the file path, you always access the images icon. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.